Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course you got here, say it with me, just in time. That's right, because it's Friday, and it's time for another edition, sort of, of Friday's Finds. Sort of. It's, it's not a multi-product. This, this video has one sponsor, and that would be Retrue. Now, I'm having to reshoot this opening because yesterday was New Year's Eve and there are a lot of private pilots that choose to fly on New Year's Eve. And so I had so much background plane noise, I had to reshoot this. So we're gonna cut to the unboxing and anyway, we'll go from there. I'll see you at the end. This video is sponsored by Retrue, your reliable partner. Do you have, do you pull a trailer? Do you put a big load in the back of your pickup? Does it squat? Mine does, white lightning squats. I've got the topper, which adds weight. And then when I put all my, my toys, the scooter and the e-bike in the back with it's all the other stuff that's in here. Of course, it's a mess right now. Don't judge me, it's a pickup. But when I have all my, my gear, and I put the scooter and the e-bike, that adds a couple hundred pounds to the back end. Throw in a couple stacks of, or a couple of bundles of firewood. You start loading this thing down, she squats. And when I'm pulling the trailer, and I've been pulling the trailer a lot lately, moving stuff down to the 10 acres. But when I make those trailer runs, she squats. So when Retrue reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested, I said, oh yes, I would. So Retrue has sent us a cool box. Let me open it up and show you what's inside. Oh, it's a box in a box. So what Retrue has sent us is the ride helper airbags that's right i'm gonna airbag the back end of the f-150 so let's let's take a look what's in this kit it's supposed to be everything we need and according to all my online research this should only take about two hours to do get your instruction book oh and it's very it's it's written for people like me yeah very self-explanatory we have your hardware your hose that's a steel bracket of some kind that's some u-bolts some bubble wrap another one of those that's the bottom plate. That's the top plate. Those are uh, side sensitive, meaning you'll have one end that goes to the front, one that goes to the back. So you can't put on, it's not ambidextrous, if you will. Here's the, the bags, two of those. There's another bracket, another bracket. And the puck. All right, I'm gonna remove all the plastic lay it out here so that you can understand what we have and i'll i'll be right back i have most of it laid out here so i'm going to go ahead and do the assembly put these together before i go put them on so your very first instruction is to remove the jounce bumper on my truck it looks like this you will need an extension 
and a number 13 socket to get in there. You will also want to, I'm working with what I got here, so don't be too hard on me. So you need to create some space between the axle so you can get your socket in there. Uh, what I ended up doing was putting my safety support under the bumper to hold it in to hold it up i'm not going to leave it like that just that was what i had to do to be able to get that axle to drop down so let me proceed with the assembly so far at this stage getting these little suckers in is the most challenging part so on the back side of this there's a an opening that lines up well it's right here and what you're going to do is you bend this to a 45 degree you slip it in and then like so if you're doing the rear one you would come in and rotate it you may need to adjust that angle so that it's a little i found that it was actually a little more than a 45 to get it flat against the inside of the the frame this is where the bumper stop was that bolt went back in through here okay now i need to put the the rest of the assembly together that's pretty simple put in four bolts to attach it to the bracket that you mounted to the frame and then you use your saddle bolts to clamp it around the springs. Now all we need to do is run the hose and do the other side. There are two things you need to know that'll make this project much simpler because both of these ended up costing me time and one of them lots of time. So on the, the driver's side, that's where all of your brake lines run and they're on the inside. Hold on, we'll just, we'll crawl under there. This is the hole you're working in. And with the brake line assembly here, it makes it a little more challenging. Tip number one, 90 degrees on, so where it says bend to 45, it works okay on the back one. The front one, you want to have that closer to a 90. If you lose it inside the box beam, it's difficult to get out. Took me a coat hanger and a pair of needle nose pliers in about 30 to 45 minutes trying to fish that thing back out. So a magnet would have been very handy. Tip number two, when you're tightening your U-bolts onto the spring, now you can see that it's it the shorter side goes to the rear tall side goes to the front make sure you get the the rear tight before you tighten the front if if you tighten the front it'll end up kinked and you'll fight it i know because i did all right let me let me work on airlines we're done with that part of the install all that's left is running the airlines back to the schrader valves the retrue airbag kit actually came with a bracket for a, a bracket for the Schrader valves. Came with two Schrader valves and a bracket assembly. This whole kit to, to mount it, but rather than having two separate Schrader valves and on a bracket, I'm using one Schrader valve right here and a T. So I'll have the same air pressure in both of them. That works great for me. And I have only one fitting to keep clean. And I have a backup. So let me get that done. Instructions say you should always maintain five PSI in the airbags. Right now there's none. Zero. We're at 38 inches to the fender well.
38 and whoop, 38 and a half. So it's just a little higher on the front. I'm shooting this part before I shoot the beginning. So we're kind of toward the middle. But anyway, we're, we're doing a, a height measurement. So I have I have a I have two stacks of wood in the back of the truck. Right there. It causes a little bit of a squat. So the rear end is 30 36 and three quarter. And the front end is 38 and a half. So 36 and three quarter with the wood in the back. So I'm gonna unload the wood. That way I can safely jack up the truck and do the install. We're gonna, we're gonna add five PSI and see what happens. All right, so that's 10 PSI. 10. Go all the way up to 100. Ten took us up by half an inch. So now we're completely level. I'm gonna take it up to 50. Let's see what happens at 50. three inches with 50 PSI uh, I'm not really I'm not trying to make a fashion statement it wasn't too difficult to to install I'm really Im impressed with the simplicity of the re true package the kit way simpler than what I when I did the motor home that was a major project All right, we're done. I really like the Retrue airbag kit. Retrue, Retrue ride helper. I think it's a heck of a deal. Simple to do. You don't have to have a mechanic. You don't have to be, don't have to have an engineering degree to install it. Just make note of those two things I said with the nut on an in, inside the box frame and getting your saddle clamps done in the right order. And you can boost, boost your rear suspension so you can pull your motor home, your fifth wheel, your utility trailer with a heavy load. Yeah, easy to do. So that brings us to the end of this edition of, to, to the end of this project. We're done. It's, it is beer 30 now. If you found some value in this little video, I'd appreciate you clicking on the thumbs up. Oh, the Retrue brand is available on Amazon. I'll provide you with a link in the description. In the description, I'll give you a link in the description, as well as a link in the cards above. That link will take that link will take you to the friday's finds shopping list on the dude rv gear recommendation amazon page man that's a mouthful and anyway it'll take you to amazon and you can check it out if you make a purchase that does support the channel and we sure appreciate that and i know retrue would appreciate it too if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along thank you so much that's why i get to do what i do I do appreciate that. And for my patrons, I'm so grateful for your generosity. You got rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?